So, hi, okay. Here hi, I mean, I'll, I'll do the intro. All right, this is Kayak Kevin podcast number seven, February 23rd, 2014. What's up, guys? Thanks for a couple few of you guys joining in here live with us. Um, of course, we'll have some questions wow. if you're on Facebook. Um, go to the thread on my, my, my wall or even Lee's wall has, has a thread that you can uh, post questions on if you have any questions for tonight. But tonight we got Rob Troy. He just came off the water, just came off of, uh, from uh, Elizabeth River, and you went fishing yesterday. Yeah. And I've been editing and just came back from yoga, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, so. God damn it. What's wrong? Three citations to over 16 pounds today. See, okay, so, <laughs> so Lee went yesterday, was it yesterday? You went yesterday, the day before yesterday? Yesterday. Okay, yesterday he went talk fishing. Now remember, what, a couple weeks ago, Lee went and caught a humongous one. Yeah, 14 and a half 14, pounds. 14 and a half, and a half pounder out there off, on a boat off, off of uh, off the in the Triangle ocean. Rex. Triangle Rex in the ocean. And then he went last yesterday, yesterday and then caught dinks, right? We caught small ones at up to 17 inches. I mean, we caught like four keepers, I think, out of 15 fish. It was, it was slow yesterday and there was no current and no wind. It was really hard to get anchored. Um, we literally spent two hours in the morning trying to hook up to a wreck and then left it and went just like trying to five up. miles so just away, even, five miles away. Yeah. You didn't even, we didn't even fish. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. we tried to hook up to a wreck for two hours. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, there, there's some big fish on that piece and we just didn't couldn't hook it. I mean, uh, some days it, it is That's what it is. Really How deep is it there? Uh, the triangle areas, I mean, it's, it's around 100, I think. I mean, it's somewhere. I believe that the shallower areas in there are 80 some feet, but I mean, I know it's we were fishing 80, 80 close to 100, 100 feet. Yeah. yeah. It's still a long drop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a long way down. Anchor and and you're fishing the same size yeah, holes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. I mean, yeah. in, in this boat, it's a 35 foot Carolina Classic. So the wreck anchor shaft is probably three <laughs> feet. We got 12 feet of chain or so on that. I mean, there's a three foot shaft, and then we're using uh, what, what I think he's using is 3 8 inch rebar right now. And we're pulling that thing out. So he's going to like. A half oh, inch he's okay, he's pulling out. He's just straightening as it. Just, just no, 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 no. I mean, we didn't hook up to the wreck. Right. He's trying to hook up and it's straightening yeah, out. Yeah, trying to hook yeah, up. But it, when yeah. we get good and the current's good, it rip. I mean, it'll pull the anchor out. Yeah. So it, it's a lot heavier boat than he had before. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. they went out today to a different area. Um, it, we were we were hoping to go. A couple of us were hoping to go that Wait, wait, wait. You went, you, went, you went yesterday and you said you guys didn't even catch him, but you said oh, we said Rick was out and he didn't catch. Rick Small fished us. South of us, and he caught small ones, but he had a good bite. I mean, right. they caught more than 15. They had more a good fish, bite. Yeah. And then they came up north, closer to us, on a wreck a little inshore of us, and caught a few Tautog and a, a, as many puppy drum as you wanted, basically. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that, and he said that before at all the little reds. And that's in, you know, that, and, uh, little reds with the tag and I mean, you're fishing some go south, water. But they also go out to a wreck. Yeah, yeah, and this was, yeah. this was south of. All the inlets. I mean, you're where where he was fishing Carolina, was yes. south of oh yeah, yeah. Carolina borderish. So right. he's right. in between inlets. These fish came from somewhere. Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. They, yeah. Whether you know whether it was north or south, they came from a direction to get there. Yeah, he needs to catch a tag one just to get yeah. one. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. know. I didn't. I don't we know talk fish. I mean, and they bite on the same stuff. And we've I mean, we've caught plenty of reds on, on the bridge. It's getting better actually. <laughs> in the fall, in the fall, when the tall tog biting is not good. The puppy drum normally make your day, but uh, yeah. yeah. And puppy drum for you guys that are not in Virginia, or is is the little red drum? Called they call puppy drum here the little red drum. So yeah, yeah. So and it's uh, it's the same thing, but there's little reds. We call them red, red, red fish. fish. Yes, red, red fish. fish. What, what the universal name is red fish. Red fish. Yeah. <laughs> so we went today. And today they went out today and they got uh, was what did I say three citations up to a little over sixteen pounds. Sixteen pounds. Yeah. Uh, they went to a different area. Yeah, we we were kind of hoping to go to that area yesterday, but I mean, it it, it, it there was a smaller crew yesterday, yeah. and he probably just was trying to keep it less, a little less expensive. I mean, it's not that makes sense. it's not cheap to run that thing. I mean, yeah. So, yeah. and when you go out there, you hook up to a wreck. I mean, once you hook up, we try and stay on anchor as long as we can, as long as there, there there's signs of fish around because it, it's just so hard to hook up. Yeah, and, and even on even on even on Rick's little boat, I mean. Once you, you hook up, let out. You, yeah, you, you let, let out and go in as as. But but I mean, once you hook up to a wreck out there, you try and stay hooked to it because it's just so it, it's so much harder than wreck you know than wreck anchor in twenty feet of water. 
Yeah. You know, fishing in the bay, <laughs> fishing 20, 30 feet of water in the bay, man, you can literally almost drop it on top of them. A hundred feet if the current's good, you got to go way up current to drop this wreck anchor and all this chain. I mean, even a hundred feet, it takes time to get to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. You can't have drifted past the wreck by then. Well, you, you got all the drag of the rope as it, as it's falling. You got all the drag of the rope in the current. That's I mean, yep. you got to sweep there's up way an arc to it. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, ride. there's an arc to it. Like I said, it, the current was so slow. Yesterday, we spent two hours trying to hook up to something we never found. Yeah. I mean, and we could mark it on the depth finder. The anchor just wouldn't hook it. I mean, and when the anchor doesn't hook it, you don't <laughs> stay still. Yeah, don't I mean, the it. current was slow, but it's really hard to talk fish if you're drifting. Yeah. You know, especially out there at 100 nah, feet of yeah, water. Yeah, your line is way too long yeah, yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's heard, way too I heard much. Alex was the anchor boy last time he went out there. So if he was the one <laughs> hauling that thing up and down, up and down, mm. yeah, it would not be. Be fun. That's not fun in Ken's yeah. boat. I thought Ken, Ken had, a, had a, has a windlass, of course, right? No? Ken anchors off the stern for tall fish. Uh, yeah, oh, when he anchors, so it he is. anchors that thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he doesn't use the windlass when we go off the front. Right. That's not. That's not. Yeah. 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 I mean, his Danforth is hooked up to it. Right. But not for wreck anchor. Right? No. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. No. I mean, I imagine uh, if yes. either that or you. I mean. Trying to snatch that wreck anchor out, you could put a lot of strain on the windlass. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, you got the weight of that boat and those twin engines yeah, be, in it's reverse. Probably, it's probably easier to do it with, with on, on the stern anyway because you're going forward. I mean, and you're yanking it out yeah, from it's the just, back. Uh, I mean, if there's wind, yeah. it's a little messier. I mean, you get, it's, it, well, and you're always in the wind. No yeah. matter what, when you anchor right. from the stern, you're in the wind. Yeah. And that's like <laughs> with that, that one day you said about that one, right? It was like, it was just... It was rodeo fishing. You're up and down. You're yeah. five feet at a time. You know, yeah. You're trying to keep it, you know, keep your line rodeo on the bottom of the right good, spot. That's a good term. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I it's been... Shop. Yeah. I didn't make that one. That's, that's yeah. good. I've done that. I've done that before. That is terrible. Yesterday it was calm. Yeah, I mean, they, there, there was no, there was fish, no reason. Even three-footers is like, yeah. you're, you're doing so much. I mean, we only have that short range. But still, yeah. it's... Yeah, it's still frustrating. Yeah, and me, I'm like banging up in those pilings. I just like get over that. that so anyway, on on Facebook, this is a healthy grin sport fishing. Yeah. By the way, that Ken I Neal. that I fish with is uh, Dr. Ken Neal. It's not a he's not a charter captain by any means. He actually is. We talked about him last time. The uh, VMRC guy. He's like associate commissioner or something yeah. of VMRC. Yeah, he's, 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 his site is worth following. He puts a lot of good information, not only fishing reports, but there's a lot of good information that yeah. he, that he yeah. we talked about. I share, he, some, he's, share some of it. Yeah, if, even if you, um, if you, <coughs> talk, if you uh, uh, Google like something fishing in the Chesapeake Bay, how to or something like that, he has a page it's that, that's been up there forever. So he's got the, yeah. the, the, the uh, like, I guess the old way is of doing it, but it's this, the, the, a lot of the bait ways and stuff like that. But yeah, some good stuff on there. It always comes up. Like you say, striper fishing in the Chesapeake Bay, and his site will come up. Oh, yeah, up. Kenny and pops how, up. You know, how to striper fishing in the Chesapeake Bay. He's done a lot yep. of reports on that, you know, full articles on that and stuff. Yep. I'm going to try to put this in HQ real quick. Is that going to work? Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, now it looks more like that one. Oh, okay. I think it's a little slower, though. It does look like it. Yeah. Are we but you know what? On. Okay. on but on. I think part of the audio is probably fine, but you know what? On what what sucks is because I'm not the pay thing on, on this on UStream that people watching get commercials. Did you get commercials last time? I don't think I did. Erin says that she's had to put she had to watch three commercials like during like just, during the show. Just while the, the show's happening, boom, the commercials come on. And huh. I've watched other shows that are not also like low, you know, low, right, right, low right. level like I huh. am. And the same thing, you be watching it, and just all of a sudden, bam, a commercial comes on. Like shit, you gotta you gotta sit for thirty seconds and watch a commercial while. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe last time. Yeah. And so. I was I was watching it live with uh, with Rick. Yeah. So. Huh. That was fun. Yeah. Rick's always fun. Yeah, to talk yeah, to yeah. Know, we'll get him even more after we go fishing. Especially this spring, when he's trying, he at least goes out there for one time, at least trying to go put the reds out of the kayak. Yeah, yeah. He's always he was, he annihilated him last year. He was with a guy that had that. Um, he was with uh, Dave Nar. Yeah, in his Hobie, yeah. Yeah. hit a side scan. Yeah, when they couldn't even see him, and the water was muddy, they couldn't even see him. Him and Dave be paddling next to each other. Dave is kick, kick, kicking his heart, and Rick is just mm -hmm. paddling away. <laughs> Dave be like, oh, they're over here to our right. They throw. <laughs> Hook them up. I mean, side scan. Yeah, there they are, right there. <laughs> like that day we pulled through the bridge on Rick's boat, and he looks at me and says, uh, well, stand up and see if you can see them. I walk up to the bow, and I look up there, and I'm like, 
All right, well, I see him. <laughs> <laughs> or that time, that, or that time when you saw him, or you, you, yeah. you saw him with when we were fishing. It was um, Alex. Um, Alex. Alex was in, way in front of us. It was behind us, and the fish came out in front of you. I, I, I watched the footage of it because it's my bow cam is stuff I can't use. I can't use it right. because my bow cam is off. My stern cam is kind of like foggy. It's I just, just bad. It's bad yeah. footage, uh, but it's. A, I wish I had it up because it's really funny because everything fucks up. I mean, once we hook these fish, I mean, not fishing, first you seeing it is all cool as shit. Because you see me, if I, have my, if I had a bow cam on you, it would see me go like, like watching you watch the fish and, and watch it happen. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> you can hear me in the, in the stern cam say it, but it's just not going to be the same. But, and, but then when you hook them, I have a line out I forget about. Right, that your fish runs into that. Your fish runs yeah. into your other oh, lines. Yeah. That we all we, we, were, we began braiding. Yeah, oh, yeah I got it mad. was bad. I got it bad. was really bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Like the whole, the whole situation. And Alex is slow ass is behind him. Oh, and you know, he's put. He's, that he's was when he actually in. caught one though. But he had lost one because again he didn't have the right gear. He's he had there. lost one before that. Yes. Earlier he trolling broke one live bait. I mean, you broke Damn. one off on live bait yeah. first thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was that whole. I wish I had all the cameras because that was all really funny. I think one of yours was gone too. Was out too, so we only had like one of each. But yeah, it was <laughs> it was chaotic. Mayhem. So I was like, mm, looking forward to that again. I'm just I'm starting. It's getting it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's close enough that you can almost start to feel a little bit. And it's, it's yeah. the, the grass is a little growing now. It's feeling like it's thawing out now. It's starting to feel like we're coming into spring. Yeah, it's supposed to snow Wednesday. <laughs> by the way, so ninety percent chance of snow Wednesday. Oh, is it? Yeah, I heard about right. that. It's snow right. and snow and wind, it's freezing rain right. turning well, into a wintry then mix. I'll, then I'll reverse this and go. Oh, it's winter again. Yeah, yeah. Right, yep. now, right now, it kind of feels like it's oh, coming dude. into spring. Tomorrow is going to be at the highs like forty five or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. After that, it's lower than that. No. <laughs> so this was a, at least I. Hey, it was I, a tease. I went on a bike ride with Aaron today, so at least I got outside and, and enjoyed. Yeah, it. Yeah, I went for a run today. Yeah, I saw that. I went fishing. Yep, yep, in Elizabeth River. Yeah, I mean, I had it was not as nice yesterday. Offshore as it was on land. It was what? Well, look dead calm it? out there right now. I mean, just today. Oh yeah, I mean yesterday it was calm, but the sun never really got to us till mm. late in the day. It was it was the sun was blocked yeah. by light clouds, and it was just you know in cold. the forties, and you're Chilly. over forty five degree water, and it's just yeah. in the forties all day. Yeah, I mean, it's just cold, yeah. cool, sure. you know. And that's what it is. That's what, even even when you go out there right now, we went fishing. We I mean, dress in for forties, even if it's seventy degrees, because you're sitting in that cold yeah. Yeah, environment still, right above the my, water. Yeah, my. Uh, my thermal layer thing on and yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's it's still sitting, cold in, there. sitting yeah. in that, that temperature yeah. the sun was starting to get to us for a little bit so i mean the layers worked out i, I took off two layers at a time and how was the um what's the temperature in the river um the parts that we were fishing it was up to like 55. oh okay yeah it was, right. it so it's, it's, it's getting fishier in there now is it starting to wake back up into i don't know man it's it's the place is always weird I always think I have some sort of theory that I like, and then next time I go, it's like, oh, that theory doesn't work no more. Hmm. Um, but there was a, there was a crap ton of boat traffic, which is like to be expected. Right, Sunday, Sunday, great a, a nice, first nice day. Every day. day. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't even think anybody even cared if they caught anything today. The, the, and know. the thing is, we looked at it and asked a lot of people. Nobody was catching in hardly anything. Yeah. Um, it was pretty pretty slow. Was slow. Um, I I started trolling. I picked up two small stripers. Um, like 18, 19 inches, but they were healthy. Like they fought really well, and they were like belly full, no marks on them or anything. They're really, really pretty fish. Cool. Um, and then I, um, and then we we searched around all of the. We went to the discharge. We went to the cove. All the stuff in between the oyster bars, um, and back to this other flat that I like. And um, I I, uh, I was trolling. And I hooked the hickory shad. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I thought it was kind of early for that. Um, I mean, it was a good size one too. Um, and yeah, that's what I thought. But, um, <laughs> what do you hit on? What do you? What do you? Uh, a little. Uh, I was trolling one mirror lure, and the other one was a quarter ounce jig head with a little paddle tail, like three. Okay, inch, so three, it's just three a small paddle tail. Okay, okay. Well, you yeah. didn't attack any mirror lures or something like that. No, but I, for a little while we were doing <laughs> these short strikes, we couldn't figure out what they. You think they were bumping? So I'm kind of thinking it yeah. might have been, um, and it was on the mirror lure. Hmm. Um, yeah, boy, boy started. Ca- yeah. How big is the mirror? Hold on. It's um, the, the normal. The, the pot, the the thing says live. Joe Greg, Jeff Gregory said, twelve minutes ago that it, it says live, but he doesn't see or hear anything. Twelve minutes ago, we've been on for that. Yes. Um, we got eleven viewers and it's going up. Yeah. So we got we should be on live. Audio is low tonight. All right. We can fix that. 
Rob doesn't talk real loud either. Yeah. yeah. You, you and, got, and he's leaned back oh, in the you chair. Got, you got two that throw their voice really far, which, my, which peeks out that mic. And, I see and, it peeking out right I'm here. Not talking up or yeah. Yeah, speaking up. Right. But thanks. Well, this see, is awesome in, info, tired, though. Quite honestly. But, but, that's, but that's, that's the whole thing. Is why yeah. I want sponsors, I can get mics and make this mm -hmm. into a real deal. I mean, you know, it would be good to have mics we can, we can hang up. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. yeah. All, yeah, all yeah, my emblems, all the beer time. emblems on there, you want. <laughs> but, but along with the sponsors, you know, as long as we need the sponsors. But yeah, but that's what we need to have that because it would sound because just because of that because we're loud, you're quieter, yeah. and it, right. we need mics. Everybody has separate mics. We're all separate. Yeah. We, don't have, we, we can have a cough button. We can sit across from each other. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I'm sorry. All right. So sponsors, sponsor, and, and it doesn't have to be any. It doesn't have to be even any fishing or even kayak fishing. I mean, you can be anything. We we reach a lot of people, and it's gonna it's gonna be like a thing right at the beginning of the show, and yeah. Bang. So get us some mics <laughs> <laughs> so we can hear him. <laughs> All right, trolling. Hit a hit, Shad. Yeah, I got a hit. My bad. I didn't mean to. Oh, no, 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 no. You're good. You're good. You're good. We're good. We, but it, it's it's all right in that in the in the YouTube later because that mic those mics on the on my good cameras pick up better, eat more evenly. All um, right, Jeff said he can see us now and the audio is much better. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Cool. It might peak out a little bit just but but live it will, but it won't do it when we uh, put up on YouTube. All right. Hickory Shad. Well, here's the thing. I, I was trying to actually, I wanted, because I heard good reports of puppy drum coming out of the discharge area. So my main thing was I wanted at least one of those because... Redfish. Uh, Redfish. Um, <laughs> I, I've been having requests for prints again. And, oh, yeah. Uh, so I figured I, need, I, I should get one of those. In, um, and then we didn't see a single one. Hmm. And that we didn't catch any trout until, like, right before we wanted to leave. Like... Huh. It was five o'clock, and I was like, "I'm gonna get off the water soon." Man, you made it a lot further than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When did we get there and decide we wanted to leave? What, we twenty-five minutes don't later. We have a lot of patience in that. Dude, There's I'm just so many yeah, people was, on top of each other. I hate. It. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a cluster. It's a cluster. Yeah, and um, <laughs> it was my buddy Jeff from from Richmond, and my buddy Billy from Green Top. Mm -hmm. and we we weren't all over the place, man, because we I really wanted to catch. And Billy hasn't caught us. Uh, dude owns like several different IGFA line class records. I mean, he he knows how to fish. For whatever reason, he just hasn't uh, caught a speckled trout in Virginia. So he was looking for a line he class? Just wanted, no, trout? he just wanted a, a speckled trout. Oh, like, okay. In general. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying, he's a very accomplished fisherman. He just, for whatever reason, he had just all these things going on. He just never caught a speckled trout in Virginia. Mm -hmm. He really wanted one. So I really mm -hmm. wanted to put him on that. And Jeff was just you know, there to hang out. He was actually testing out my trident. Um, second time in a row now, he went with me to the perch um, thing last week. And mm -hmm. um, he's... Pretty sure he's gonna get that next. Um, so anyway, so we looked all over the place. No puppy drum, no redfish, um, no speckled trout. Um, we even brought live bait and everything, man. I mean, the cove was dead when we got there. So. And no, you're not in any other reports. You're not seeing any fish. Nobody's not. pulling anything in. Everybody we talked to says nope, nothing right now. Um, apparently, huh. when we got to the cove. Uh, two boats had caught two fish relatively recently, and that was it. And then we spent 45 minutes, and nobody caught anything. So. Man, that sounds like a nice sounds right, too. I mean, 55 in there is, is a decent temperature. That's what I'm saying. Warming things, up. Yeah, things are moving around. Is, yeah. the, is the hot water on in there? I don't know that yet. Yeah. It would have been warmer. Did you go into that area? I went to the discharge, like, right up to the The discharge is always running something. Right. It's always, it's yeah, a, there's always water, something but, yeah, there. Yeah. It's always a little warm, but we, we talked not about always. there for a while, too. We didn't get nothing. And there was a boat there when we first got there. They hadn't caught anything in a while, either, so... Hmm. It's a weird day. And then, um, so around 5 o'clock, I was like, all right, a couple more casts. I'm going to pack everything up, grab a bite to eat, then come here to do this. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, I shit you not. Because Jeff was like right next to me. I was like, all right, I'm going to cast. And I was like, man, I just want to feel a hook swell. Uh, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was like that. So then instantly, instantly you're not leaving then, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Um, an hour goes by, we see swirls, we um like we we were like three feet of water by then. Like we we're getting close to where we want to get out. Um start seeing swirls, I catch another little striper, um, and then Jeff catches a 23 inch trout. Mm, so huh. I was like, oh, awesome, we finally found a trout. And it was like, and it's like right where we were launching from. So we were like, <laughs> right there. <laughs> right. And, and Jeff and I were both thinking, man, I bet they were here all freaking day. Yep. And we went everywhere yep. and, 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 and 
when you launched, you didn't put a line in yet, right? Yeah. Uh, we cast it real quick, but uh, we, we had other ideas. We wanted to try all these other spots. And, yeah. yeah. And um, by then it's dark. And I'm like, all right, okay, I'm going to be late for Kev's <laughs> thing. I should go. One more cast, 26 inches. Whoa, you? Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. yeah. Was, and I was standing up. I, was, I took the predator out. So I was standing up having a good time. All right, let's just, you know, I'm, I got to go soon. Oh, snap. Look. And actually, it pulled drag. I was like surprised. Look at a pretty strong for a trout. I mean, nothing against trout, but technically, they don't fight yeah. super yeah. hard. You know, yeah. I was like, I mean, those that, big ones I that caught. Size, those, those big ones they, I they caught was, in the inlet this spring. They will do those runs yeah. like, man, man, man. I thought I thought my, I, well, I caught two citations in the inlet this, yeah. this fall. Yep. And I thought, the first one, well, I knew the second one was was a trout because before it took those mean runs, it came up and thrashed yeah. on the top. Right. But the first one didn't do that. The first one before it thrashed on top just started. Ta I mean, I thought I had a red hook. You know what I mean? It yeah, just started thought, taking that's... line, and then all of a sudden I could feel the whole body length. Yeah. Because trout change. move, yeah. trout yeah. move, Stop and they move in their whole yeah. body, yeah. and you feel that whole body, that's and you're different. like, oh. But well, in the beginning, wow. I thought this was a red too because yeah. the way he took off, I was like, oh snap. Yeah, my biggest one, I thought it was a striper. I was like, uh, I was just yanking on him like yeah. a striper. I was like. And I saw him. I was like, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. they get a chance to pull me in there. They just use their it's yeah, the whole body. Yeah, so much. Yeah. Damn. It was so easy to tell. So you guys, so yeah, you got what? good pictures and everything. Um, I, dark just, time. It's kind dark of pictures. It's hard. Specs um, are not real good in the at night. Because flashes. They they <laughs> burn out right <laughs> really yeah. where the, the yes, they do. You know what I mean? Um, but Jeff Jeff took hard. a bunch for me, so I'm hoping hoping it turned out. I got the measurement one, so I at least I can yeah. take it to Green Top yeah. and get my and you got witnesses. Yeah. Yeah. Witnesses too. So. Yeah. Cool. That's real cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, That's real cool. Pink mirror lure. I forget the name. Everybody loves it. It's the regular old MR. Uh, MR 17. Is that what it is? 17. I don't even know the number. 17 is the smaller one and 22 is the bigger one. Maybe it's the 22 then. It's the, the, the 22 one. is like the four inch one and then like What's the, the 17 like? is, is that like the shad one. Is that you know, like a rattle trap looking thing? Right? No. No, 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 no. It's just zero. Big, big head, big, uh, the red eyes yeah. on the side. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Four feet, three, three, four feet of water. Hmm. I think about mirrors, and here's the reason I picked pink was just because the sun was setting, and I was like, color sort of match. Let's just use that. And yep. I didn't really have a scientific thing. Right. I just figured. And the thing is, after the sun went down, it kept that'll, working. So that'll reflect the light, like I mean, like a Menhaden as the sun goes down, because a Menhaden as the sun goes down, the sun yeah. goes down, it's gonna reflect the color of the sunlight. Yep. Yeah. They're just, I mean, all these things are mirrors swimming through the water. It's, it's so crazy how they can see in that, that water too. Though. Dude, it was particularly dirty. I think they were saying it rained recently, so yeah. it was a lot. Of, it I mean, was it's been really wet, gross. and it's been warm to melt all the frozen stuff that's in the true. ground so too. I mean, it's, so, yeah. it's right. we're so that's saturated. We're it's oversaturated right the now. The ground is thawing. It's saturated real hard. It's it's thawing you, out. It's, you yeah, walk through the yards, man. It's just mush. It's yeah. it's terror. I mean, we are oversaturated right now. Yeah. We did see a red though. I, I didn't. Th I forgot about this. Um, Jeff went way up into a creek, like super shallow, and he got up on the trident and he had a great good time winding in and out. And just about when he was done, he could, starts coming out. He sits down. He's like, "Oh, there's one right there!" Like he could have hit it with his paddle. Yeah, instead. yeah. That's, then, yeah. So then, That's so then all of a sudden, all three of us are just going way into the creek, <laughs> looking for, looking for a red. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't find it anymore, but we'll find you, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> or see you get spooked out. Yeah. <laughs> It was a good day. And yeah, I, I good. Would, yeah. yeah, that's always fun. I had a good day yesterday catching the small ones. I mean, it's always a, a nice day on the water. It's just, I mean, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I, got we, I caught some fish. I mean, I caught, I think I caught two of the four keepers we had. There you go. So, I mean, yeah. just like last time. Yeah. I caught two yeah. of the five last time. <laughs> the biggest two. The biggest there one were one no there. biggest. I mean, these are things. It was crazy, though. Like, they were, like, literally urban camo colored. Yeah. Yeah. Like white. Oh, like white and gray and black. black. Like just oh, cool. Chunky. That's cool. The I'm females. Sure. And I think they were, I mean, I don't think we caught a male yesterday. I think everyone we caught yeah. was a female. And the bigger ones, the keepers, were like crazy, like black and white. Like urban camo. That's, That's cool. Wow. I'm saying we had one of those. Should have taken some pictures of that. that yeah, I'm sure Ken did. I'm sure Ken did. No, Ken didn't take any pictures. No. no. Oh. He got one picture of, one, of a normal looking one with um, Josh Jordan fish with us yesterday and caught his first tog ever. Right. I think he's like. I think he actually like has a charter boat around. I think he's a charter captain around here. So he's just never tall talk fished. Yeah. Well, he, if you don't, you know, I, I got an email today about about 
Talk fishing, you know, it's and, a specialty and, type of fishing. Yeah, and and, and and I haven't emailed him back yet, but I, I just saw it today. And, and uh, but you know, and doing the talk segment on this next DVD, I'm going into like a super detail about it. I mean, we're going to go in to everything about it. Uh, it's yeah, yeah, it is, and it's, that's the whole thing. It's a specialized thing. Yeah, yeah. but at, at the doing it all and making all this footage at the end of it, it's really fun to. It, it's fun when you're fishing with guys. I think it's it's it's. I don't like fishing for talking about myself anymore because it's more fun when you're it's with everybody else. Because, because yeah, the swing and misses. Because and it's guys so tricky, and that's the yeah. thing is watching this. I put I really it really came to me because I haven't talked fish in a while. And I'm, I'm doing all this footage and putting all these. But it, this is for 2010 and now. before and and before. Now you're realizing this, but before this, like before he realized this, and I, and I know when he realized this because. Sheep's head fishing is almost the same thing. Yeah, and true, yeah. at the end of this, the season this year, he literally wouldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> he told me, I'm done tying up, doing the, that type of fishing. Yeah. I just hate it. Yeah. And then uh, it, tog season came around, and I, we could finally talk him now into mm -hmm. it. And, you, I mean, the day you caught your citation, everybody had an awesome day. Yeah. We had, nobody caught as many fish as you did, and nobody had a, as successful a day as you did. Yeah. All we had awesome days until we had to paddle home. Mm -hmm. yeah. The paddle home was, yeah, it was pretty bad. Three hours. But that's what I was. That's what I'm. You know, and that's basically what because I just. I don't go fishing without my friends anymore. Yeah, and especially <laughs> talking, <laughs> at all. And it's, and it's because it's such a specialized fishery. It's not. You, it's not easy. That everybody can't catch. So. It's a lot of misses. Ah, yeah. 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 Dealing deal yeah. with the structure and, and during the fight and you know when you're feeling it around and next you you think you're hung up and then all of a sudden. While you're hung up, you can feel a fish bite. I mean, yeah. so many yeah. crazy bat, things can happen. I mean, I had, to, I had that 14 bat. bat and a half pounder hit something yeah, and stop. Like, I mean, it literally, looked like, I was hung up, yeah. and the rod just bent, and everybody on the boat's like, what are you going to And I did, <laughs> I did absolutely, I did exactly what I knew to do. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, Don't do anything. Yeah, yeah. If he's going to break it, let him break let it. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. The tog is going to, you know, and I knew it was a big fish. I mean, I'm not going to. You can feel a 14 incher down there hung up with your weight on a rock. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. This fish was big and it, you know, what am I going to do? Nothing. I'm going to wait. <laughs> Something's going to give. Yeah. He's either going to swim out or he's, I mean, it's going to break. Yeah. But it is a specialized fish, and this guy's asking about how to get into it and how to get in. And, and it's, it's, you know, it's tough because... To really go after them at the bridge, you need like the right rods. You really have to spin a lot of like, yeah, yeah, getting the gear. It costed right. me. I mean, I, I went with a spinning rod, and I do not advise going with that setup. The first time I ever went with you, I went with a rod and reel that I already had. It was a spinning mm -hmm. setup. I bought the line, the, the leader, the hooks, the sinkers, the bait. It was eighty some dollars. Yeah. Just to go, and that was with the rod and reel that I had that wasn't optimal right. at all. I mean. I don't, like a spinning rod is not what you want. I mean, you, people can use it and they will yeah. have some success, but it um, but yeah, the the ratio be of yes, yeah, the kayak's gonna be hard. You, it, there's a lot of even when you're anchored, there's a lot of maneuvering still mm -hmm. sometimes to try yeah, to stay right. over a certain hole. Spinning rods require two hands. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Spinning rods require two hands. Yep. Yep. And that's the thing is, it's it's because you, you it's not like you're just throwing bait out in, in bottom fishing. It's bottom fishing in like areas like this big. You you if you might be here and not catch them, you'd be here and, and be literally, in them. Literally, this is not a, like an exact like yeah. an exaggeration. Here and get them, and right here and not get them. And they you know, say, fish somewhere for twenty minutes, and move twenty feet. If yeah. you don't catch them, <laughs> yeah. they say fish in the same spot and then move twenty feet yeah. on the wreck. And see, that's that's it, in, that's in a boat now. The kayak, I'm going two minutes. Yeah, over a rock. Two yeah, minutes. Yeah, well, I'm saying you yeah, can walk yeah. around the boat for oh, twenty minutes. Right, 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 right. Like moving, let anchor yeah. over, let more anchor out, or yeah. whatever. You know what I mean? Just yeah. if, if you don't get a bite in twenty minutes, move twenty the feet. Whole Just thing, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Move your whole kayak setup. Is different. Yeah, you, it's your your fishing swim spot. Yeah. If, if, but the kayak two is about it. You're right. Yeah. And we use Sometimes that it's not of, even that much. Yeah. It just is. If you don't feel anything looking at it, messing with it, or, or rubbing around, you it, can yeah. almost feel them looking at it. And then you that literally video. can yeah, feel them looking some at sort it. There is some sort of weird dude. It's yeah. well, so, sometimes you can feel their fins touching it. You yeah. Feel it. I mean, they're it's all just, about yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think if it's there and if they want to eat it, they're gonna eat it. And there's no like, if like they're not like kind of nosing up to it and I wonder what that is. No, I'm gonna eat that. That's it. And yeah. So that's why it's like. If I have a, 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 a crab in a hole, and 
I think it's about two minutes. You're probably it's right. Not, sometimes yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, sometimes it's not even that much. Yeah. And then it's like just lift up or over this. a rock. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. catch a current. And then if the current, yeah. if, if you're in a current, you just lift up, let you know, and let it find. You might have to let a little bit more line out. And this is. I was using a reel that I I needed the extra hand for to do the lever drag part. Right. But I do, I do the buttons now, and yeah. it, for for tog or sheep's head, it's I'm, just because you're you're looking so much that you're lifting, and you, if if you don't feel the bottom, and I still got a paddle in my other hand trying to keep position, I want to hit that button, and I use one of these two fingers on my star drag and, and engage it again, and I and, I can do that over and over again. I'm, I see that you can see that in the video, the, can you? Uh, the footage I have too. You can see because cool. you, you, you have that big handle, yeah. So you hit it and your handle goes flap and yeah. it goes over. Now, what I use for that same situation, and that is a, a good thing about talking, I know we're skipping a ton of steps, but I'm not gonna, I'm not, I, I don't want to go really into how detail talk fishing about it because we, we one, we write stories, we write articles about it. That's there's info on that. Um, and I'm gonna be putting out a DVD here real soon that's gonna have a shit ton of information on it. I mean, it's gonna go into detail about everything about it. So, <laughs> but yeah, skipping ahead, <laughs> um, letting anchor rope out, and but the but that part you, we can always do that. But I use a dial reel, and most oh, yeah, of the dial reels have yeah, when yeah. you have the thumb to press. These are all low profile reel or uh, low profile reels and conventional reels. If when you, you press the thumb to presser, you can flick it back up if with you your thumb. Flip it back up and, and engages, engages the reel. It, yeah. 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 No other no other reel company does that. As and far as I know, most of the dial reel uh, reels do that. See, I, and I, when I first started saltwater fishing, I fished with a. Uh, I don't even think they make them anymore. A Shimano Castaic. It's a completely freshwater reel, but it had a push button and then a bar across the top, like the. It, right. And then the newer versions didn't oh, have the I bar have, all the way that. across. Yeah, it just had like thumb, thumb notches on yeah. either side. Yeah. I but yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I'm sure the they use it like that up, though. flipping. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, it ate it up. But I mean, for like flipping in freshwater, it's perfect. But well, if you what, think about holding the bottom in saltwater, I mean. Well, awful I, one, I, originally, I originally got into that habit of being able to man, use my thumb for mm -hmm. engaging reels because I was using those um, quantum, uh, what were they, quantum reels, a, uh, ac accurate reels or whatever they were. But they had a flipping, flip, flipping switch. So it, if I if I had I could turn it on if I let up it engages. So I actually was fishing with that nonstop. So I got real used to that. So that's what that and so that technique of you can drop down a rock. Still paddling and then engage it, you know, yeah. either with hitting it with your hand or using dial or reels. Yeah. What was the question that you were laughing Nothing. At? I'm just laughing because uh, Matt St. Pierre is watching the podcast live. He wants to know what we think about these guys going nuts in Hawaii. Those guys are killing That's, it, man. Yeah. Dude, the, uh, uh, the level going nuts I, goes like it's just the, what uh, they're I mean, doing out in Hawaii. They're catching tunas every was, day. Yeah, the, it's the, just the, amazing. Yeah, There's yeah. no, yeah. Yep. That picture was it Andy Cho that put up that uh, almost they don't call it a gaff the the stabbing it's like thing, a spear thing. The, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's like a harpoon but he he called it something he said something shot that picture he put up today of him putting about I mean it looked like about a sixty pound yellowfin he was about to put that stick into See, that been, picture been, that is just like, that's insane much more and stuff. They put I was just laughing time. because. <laughs> He's like, I just want to read that message. <laughs> right, that's, the, that's a message, right? Yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's not on the feed. Don't, don't put that up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, those guys are awesome. I, yeah, uh, yeah, hands down, those guys are. If we they are out, out, we hope those guys will grace us and allow us to, like, even, I mean, shit, just follow them around and film them or something. Yeah, shit. Yeah. I mean, they paddle out. <laughs> Catch this, you can catch the giant fish, pelagics. Fish, fish of, of lifetime. I mean, yeah. people like to say stuff about some of the things we do. No. Fish of a lifetime yeah, yeah, is yeah. what they do. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just yeah. amazing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. yeah they're badass. Yeah, the Hawaiians are badass. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's no doubt about that. Nobody's, yeah. <laughs> this is why yeah. I say shit So about much that. respect. Well, yeah. I can't even know what else to say about it. Yeah. Videos are great. It, yeah, they, they're, they're doing some good stuff, and I'm stoked that most of most of them are ocean kayak guys. That's yeah, always they are. Cool yeah, it's yeah, cool. Yeah. So yeah. Let's see. Yeah. It's um, somebody has it. We don't tog fish at night, so there's no real segue for this. What but, I uh, what I understand is they sleep at night. Um, like, yeah. I, divers had said. No, that no. They, this guy wants to know about like what we do for rigging for fishing at night. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. That was uh, one. So that's, yeah, that's one of the that's questions. Do it togging. But yeah, but we do not. Just we like, do not talk at night, by the way. They say they sleep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether they, they just I heard don't of divers eat or... going right up and just like taking a bag and putting it yeah. right in there. The divers say they, they, they like hang up against the rocks. They, they lay up against the rocks and just kind of like sit there. 
Huh. But I've seen fish do that. I had these little, I forgot what they're called, sheep's head minnow things um, in my little tank. And at night they would do that. They look like they were dead. Right. I'm like, what's wrong Dude, my with clownfish do that. Dude, my Boom, clownfish, my clownfish, my clownfish. <laughs> before my clownfish got, like, to host the anemone, the male would just lay on the bottom of the tank. And I'd come down <laughs> the middle of the night and, like, oh. pee or something, I'd look in the tank and be like, the fish looks dead. <laughs> I mean, it only got me, like, once, you know what yeah. I mean? I looked at him for a second, and I watched him, like, 15 seconds, he, like, flicks a fin, <laughs> lays back <laughs> Okay, you're all right. You're good. He just flips over, just rolls uh, over. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, so talk and what I understand sheep's head do too. Yeah. Night so. rigging for kayaking. Uh, what you, uh, somebody else asked if yes. we use the lights. Yeah, that was. We, so I, I don't use. No, we don't use the lights that light up around us. I don't really. I don't. Well, I don't you, you have much. to have what, what you have to have by Coast Guard standards is a 360 light. Yeah, or not a three. You don't even have to have a 360 light. No, you have to have a white light. A light. So that means it can't a, be amber though. Your your red light on your headlamp light. does not count. It has to be a white light if you're using one. So you could even have a you know a, a flashlight. You know, taped, taped, to, crate, taped to the front of the boat, front of your boat crate, wherever, yeah, yeah. Just as long as you have a light. I got, I got, I was at HRBT a few years ago, and the cops came, um, and they made one of my buddies get off because he had a, the 360 light, but he, he, they say you need a light that you can point at somebody. Hmm. So they're saying you need a headlight too, or yeah, or some, or some, some of sort of light that you can point at somebody and make a signal right. instead of a 360 light. You can't do a signal with. Right. Um, so that's. That's and well, what you that. want to have is you want to be able to be seen. Most of the problems, most well, not the problems, but most of the complaints we have from boaters is they can't see us. And so that's the thing. And even though as a kayaker, we know that we can hear and see those guys uh, two miles away or way before they even see us. It's like being a motorcycle type of deal mm. where you're watching out for the cars, you know, and, and you because be you're more you invisible, to, you're small. Yeah, you have to be proactive in, in, in paying that. attention to, to what's going on around you. But having as much light as you can, that's great. Uh, the the yak attack lights, those things are bright as the, shit. The, uh, those things light up so much that I can see my deck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, it's, no it's almost enough to light the fish with. Yeah, like, I had to put a tape on the front because it was putting too much light on my bow cam. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tape on the front just to, just, to, just to dull that just a little bit. Yep. But those are those are great lights, and they come in that. Should have brought one, but they get they have they come in that pack that the flag. Yep. In the package. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you can break it's like tent poles. Tent and poles. with um so you can break it apart, it becomes real small, you got a little bungee tied it together and, and the flag itself, you just it's put it right Safe in, for the daytime. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Daytime safety if, if you're the worried flag. about it. I mean literally like pe boat boaters are not looking for you. Right. But don't okay. think don't think they are, man, because they're paying attention to their kids. Yeah. They're watching their rigs. I mean, literally, I had a guy drift so close to me one day with three kids in the back of his boat. I just, like, knocked on the side of his boat, you know, tap, tap, tap. It scared the <laughs> daylights out of this guy. But, I mean, he was literally not paying any attention at all to what he was doing. Yeah. But... As long as they can see you, I think that's the main concern for for boaters. Um, flags, if you're doing open water, that's a open good idea. Yeah. yeah, because we're so low in the water, you get a two foot swell and you it's just disappear. our head sticking up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lights, yeah, big three sixty lights like like Luther sells like yak attack. Ah, those are great. Cage, um, cage. The spear they use. That's what they call it. They call it a cage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what it is, I mean, what it is, it, from what I what I understand, what it is is they take a piece of wood and they uh, a dowel. Like, it looks like one or one and a quarter inch dowel. They drill it out deep. You know what I mean? And then they take all thread. They thread the all thread up into this hole. You know, as deep as they can get it. And then what sticks out, they take and sharpen the end. So this is not a. Wow. It's threaded. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. It's not a smooth so threaded. Spear. So that's yeah. what sticks So it stays. That's what, yeah. that's what um, yeah, Seth awesome. made one. Seth it's, made one, yeah. yeah. It's threaded. So it's yeah. like, it's like I think, ribs. I think so actually, when you stab something, I got a text message a second yeah. ago, so it's probably from. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the safety thing, real quick, though. Um, you know Tim Morris, Specs? Mm hmm. He was out in Pocosin once, um, and a, a commercial guy was doing something, was not paying attention at all. Literally ran over his kayak, mm. and he—I mean—he jumped out, out of the kayak yeah. in, in time. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. He undid his anchor trolley, but it had a buoy on it. Right. And he, he paddled the, paddled away real quick and ran right over the buoy. Mm. Like he would have been. Oh. 
Yeah, I have, I have, and, but so you gotta be. You don't attention. think they're looking for you, right? Just I'm not paying think attention. For I had a commercial guy at the bridge in the fall when they were getting their spot up in the morning. I was out there early morning, and I was in the light. I'm, you know, in the bridge, he in the light. He couldn't. I know he couldn't see me. I know he could see me just because I know lighting. And he right, couldn't see me. Right. You know, I, the you know, I'm in the glare. He can't the see me. The reflection was all, I was in the glare on the water in front of the light. You know, so I, he, I knew he couldn't see me. He was coming at me, and I got out of the way, and he got to me, and he went past me. He said, "Man, I couldn't see you." I said, "I know." Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you have to be proactive about that, man, for sure. People, yeah. people, yeah, yeah. And, and and you're silent. Here, yeah, we are silent. They're not gonna. They like. It's, it's just you keep your ears open. That's why I don't wear earplugs on. I, yeah, I don't. I don't, I, I don't wear. Yeah, if, you, if, if you, you're gonna listen to a radio, get a shower radio. Yeah, shower radio, or, get the or get one of those the adapter adapter hookups for your phone. Yeah. Uh, don't have earplugs in. Yeah. It's really not safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You want to if you're gonna listen to anything, have it where you can hear everything else. If you're gonna fish at night, light yourself up with a 360 light. Yep. And especially, don't wear earplugs. Mm -mm. Don't wear especially earplugs anytime, but at night, yes. yeah. you're looking ask, to get ask ran over. Yeah, there's yeah. so much that can happen. On the water. And at night, <laughs> boaters, a lot of people that are on the water at night have been on the water all day, and everybody knows that people on their boats like to drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yep. you, all you biggest, need is somebody that's having a party to run you over. That's one of the biggest fears about us doing uh, uh, doing the drift on the That's why we don't striper fish don't do it the drift at night. It's no. too scary, man. There no, are folks. so many fish out there. We could go out there and catch fish yeah, left just, and right all night it. long. Not a boat we're looking going to die. Yeah, Everybody's yeah, drinking. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we, we I mean, we're out there in the middle of the day with them. We're watching them drink, yeah. and it's the same guys. <laughs> yes, it is. because we're catching fish all around them, and they're catching nothing. So they're sticking around. I think one of the funniest times um, I had boats. It, we were we it was daytime. Now we were anchored off, and for some reason, this, we're talking about nighttime boats. And we've also had like when we're out there at night, boats have seen the lights and come at us, trying to check out what the lights were. What is that? Right? Yeah. So we've had this time where it's thick. It was me and. I forgot who it was. It was we were we were Kobe fishing on Latimer Shoals, and we were split. I think I had a red yeah, boat. Prick. No, it, was, it might have been Rick. And <laughs> but a boat. A, I swear, a boat came right in between us, like we were buoy markers. And we were like, we're, we're, we got chum out, and we got the full rigs, I mean everything, and it's just like we are like, what is that? <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Any yeah. more questions on here? I don't. Bumblebee gobies lay on their side. Huh. In my brackish tank. Yeah. Yeah, sleeping. Yeah. Sleeping. Bumblebee gobies. He said brackish is. water, but could be what the that's same thing is. Yeah. 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 Somebody wants to know where he launched from today. I launched out of Rudy yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we left out of Rudy. You asked, you asked, you know who asked that? <laughs> we, left, we left out of Rudy yesterday. <laughs> it's uh, a friend's backyard, essentially. So oh, cool. I can't, yeah. can't really. Yeah. Cool. A yard. Mm -hmm. Well, you love you those know, accesses. Yeah, you gotta know. I mean, yeah, if you, if I made friends with certain people, and I promise I wouldn't make it a, a, a yep. production of, of people coming over there and. I give them a small fee and I get to I get a short paddle, so that's yep. part of the deal. I mean, I know some people own some ponds that I did the same thing with back in the day when I pond fished. I mean, I could probably go do the same thing now with the kayak, you know? Yeah. I had one of those boats I could drag out of the back of my tr pickup truck and go pond fishing, except <laughs> it had a motor, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but as far as um, the Elizabeth River goes, if you did one of the, the Chesapeake Yachts is probably going to be, or Top Rack, Top Rack Marina. I think it's all that's fishery. It, it, it's fishable from the locks basically all the way. All, yeah, well, the top rack not, is top rack is inside because it's like right there. Yeah, but I think you it's gotta, further up upstream. A little bit, but I think you gotta be off the water a certain time because they close um, up lock uh, gates or something. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I've never. Is, lost is Chesapeake yachts even open anymore? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're off and on, man. You know how that. They're all when it gets all, when, when it gets chaotic in, in this. Yeah, fall. when it gets chaotic because people drive the whole yeah. ass through there while people are trying to paint and maintain stuff yeah. in a boat yard. Like they got to get to the spot. Like it doesn't make sense in the world. Everybody's already there and everybody knows exactly where you're going. Yeah. Slow right. down and drive through the man's property like you got some sense. Well, what's the what's the <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. What's been really cool? <laughs> what's been really cool about that area that is that that fishery? More people have explored outside of the typical bridge yeah, uh, area. Well, right? yeah, the, the, it started yeah. in one started little, this spot. little spot, and now people are finding They're large all, fish everywhere, all through there. So it's not just. I also think part of it, maybe. I mean, 
today we didn't find a lot of stuff on makes me wonder if they just went further like as a big school or they, they, they just moved to a different part of the river that you know that suits the temperature for them or whatever right now mm -hmm. and that's why they weren't where generally where we were today earlier so I don't know hmm. I'm about to ask these things when we catch them next time <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying they, I mean I think that fishery is weird and you think you have it dialed in next thing you know it's and like yep. I said it's not just the bridge discharge area they, yeah. they can be all up and down the river yeah and when I first the started locks, fishing guys, there before it was real popular you had to use live bait yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah before that place got super popular like and I fished there uh, be before the internet hit that place I fished there uh, like a couple of times with Blake mm. and it you had to fish with live bait I mean I don't know that's what it was me but now there's 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 it's trolling because, it's there's because more people throwing. more people more people want to do different styles right different ways and, and you're finding people. the fish yeah. that will eat yeah. these you know well, the no, fish when will it came eat into the shop bait. was like what did I say 11 pounds 31 inch 11 pound I remember I, I mm -hmm. sent, yeah it was on lore on yeah. artificial so that, that, that just that alone is cool because oh, it's, yeah. it's caught on, on artificial Absolutely. that big that big. Yeah, yeah, Joe and Richie got got thirty plus inches on, on lures. Yeah. I mean yeah. a year or two ago. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, it's just giant trout. Yeah. Kinda get your heart rate up. <laughs> How sketchy. And it's not that they fight hard and they it's they always want to get off. Yeah. They always gonna get it's, off. It's They're an gonna art get off. form and catching. Hey, how'd you locating and finding and catching? How'd you land it in the you know, predator? Did you ride a predator today? Yeah, dude. I saw so I, I yeah. practiced uh, the thing uh, on a on a little striper at first. I like yeah, I put one leg across me and like kind of sat on I braced, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I sat on the edge mm -hmm. and, and you can find the edge on that thing too yeah. it's not that hard yeah. but yeah I yanked it right up so cool that, right. That, that, yeah, that, I, I, wanted, like, I wanted to catch that's a, really far out of the water to take a special trout it is, it is, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like this hard dude, dude. the first time I tried it I went bloop and the thing just plopped I was like okay this is not going to be <laughs> as easy as it used yeah. to be I'm going to have to actually kind of work a landing here I'm not going to not just going to put a landing and flop it in yeah it doesn't yeah I, mean, I wanted to catch a strike run. I wanted to film that. Like a big one. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, wanted, yeah, I really wanted cool. that this year, but yeah, you know, but this that's year all, was that's right. All, yeah. That's all right. But, I mean, it's a it's a comfortable boat and it paddles you know better than I thought it would. The wind still catches it though, and, yeah. and it, it's and it it's irritates. Yeah. It's irritates. It's going, that's what so it's going there's, to but it, like places huh. like Rudy and you know and, and I dealt with it today and I wasn't bad. You know, being able yeah. to stand up really easily, I can almost jump up and down and I think. Yeah. And then the high seat setting. I mean, the comfort. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. No, I, I I love fishing out of it. I don't like paddling there. Yeah, <laughs> I love being there with it. I love being in the creeks and stay just w walking around on it. I can stand sideways. I can stand on the seat. I can walk in circles on the seat. Yeah, I can walk all around and look all 360 with my without like yeah. doing this. I can just walk. On the seat, within the high chair seat, yeah. you just walk around and walk around. You got a, you got a little bit lower center of gravity, so I'll get, I'll yeah, 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 I need, yeah. I, I need to get on the seat though. I want, I want. It's, to, easy, I it's, it's not. It's, it's easy. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's not any sketchier up there. Yeah. But the seat gives a little bit. That's the only thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do it in sandals, so you make sure you get your kind of foot connection to it a little right, bit. Right, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Or even in summertime, we just <laughs> barefooted. But yeah, that thing's fun. I do. I love. I love being there. With you it. don't go barefooted. Not in that. I probably wasn't that boat. Yeah, yeah, not that. <laughs> you stand up with shoes on. Yeah, I do my Trident fifteen. I do yeah. my Trident, but because the, the the Exo Ridge, whatever they call the the surface mm -hmm. on, it's it's it wouldn't feel good on my feet. Anyway, yeah, so no. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. yeah. I think I only. Huh? Go ahead. No, what are you saying? No, I said are we call him. There's him? another question. Yeah. Uh, uh <laughs> Shad. Do we fish the Shad run in Richmond? You know, I did last listen, year yeah, for the yeah, first yeah. time ever, and I mean, he he, he knows there. what's up. Uh, yeah, I, I went up there last year. I caught uh, so one American. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I caught one American, and and that thing, I mean, those the ultralight tackle, yeah, man, that was fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. And uh, several hickory shad, mm -hmm. and we fished for catfish, catfish that, that, night, that night. You know, so yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, and, and I plan on going back up there, and I'm going to drag him with you me this year because it's get, definitely get, no, 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 listen, I've, oh, it's I've definitely fished, fun. I fished for him at the HRB team. Yeah, I've, I know. I've hunted schools of them, and they jump every time. No, I've, I've done yeah. it. I've done it. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, we'll but, keep a couple, and then we'll go a little bit down river and we chunk and get some cash yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Now I want to go do the thing with you guys. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But yeah, but, 
So I've, the, I've caught them before and I've talked. I've caught some big ones. I got a picture of on the website, like yeah. a 17 inch. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> they're fun though. Not, they fight hard. Point for, of tail, not fork tail. But, but still, yeah. 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 Um, as far as no, te- fun. technique jump, for them, them, yeah. Um, small things. Small, small shiny things essentially. Um, they make shad darts. Go to your tackle shop. Shad darts or shad spoons. Um, for spoons, I will, because they're so light. Um, spoon probably about this much liter yeah i fish so with like 16 two, 18 inches yeah. of 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 liter on like it was like a what a maybe a uh, an eighth ounce or maybe a little heavier uh for the what was it um you talking about the egg sinker above it yeah it was yeah, like a quarter put a, ounce yeah, egg sinker or something yeah. i mean it was enough to cast but okay, not yeah. spoon 18 20 inches a liter um preferably for fluorocarbon because they have massive eyes and i, I have a uh I don't know what it is. I, I think it helps for whatever reason. Fluorocarbon, it's supposed to be invisible. <laughs> I don't, I know there's a bunch of theories. I don't I, really I'm know. I'm with you. It. I use it uh, when I'm hunting reds. I'm using. I I'm just using, figure I might as, I don't know. I it, it couldn't hurt. I use it. It yeah. doesn't hurt. No. Um, We've done a thing with Tog where I've been, we catching the same rate of speed and he's using mono, I'm using fluorocarbon. I think Tog don't care. Yeah. I think when yeah. they want to eat, they're, they, they, I mean, the mono, mono just looks like weeds or whatever. They don't seem to, that's like, oh, yeah. that's food I'm eating. I don't care what, what's like, attached yeah, like, to it. There's so much stuff. You, it's you hard just, to tell. What, there's I mean, so much really stuff down there. Yeah, what yeah. is, that's a line, um, you know. Yeah. To, the, yeah. to the leader, to a tiny swivel, and then a, a small egg sinker probably. Depending on the current, if you're going to try to fish a really fast current, you know, you're going to need heavier, um, heavier how much How much leader? I mean, how much, uh, what poundage? Um, I like... Light because shad no, right. don't get big. Um, probably 10, okay. yeah. 10, 15, yeah. something like that. Um, about, um, or you can go lower than that. I've caught it on you know four, and, um, four pound test too, and, and two pound test running line. But um, how about spec rigs. Pro- yeah, that would work. I mean, you want you want a light to ultra light it because you're gonna have that much big. more fun with yeah, it. Yeah, the I mean the jig itself is. Oh, you're talking about the spec rig, the jig. No, yeah. that's, too, that's too big. Too big, okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, shad, no, I mean, shad darts shad are darts yeah, no, an inch yeah, long, yeah. and the spoons yeah. are that long. That's why you have that 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 that, that split shot on there. Yeah, so you got to get it down, exactly. Yeah. And, and the thing with shad, um, during when the run is ha- really going on, it's just a matter of finding the right depth. Because um, different, I mean, I found them where you cast, and as soon as you start reeling, bam. They, so you barely let it get down. There's other times where you cast uh, cross current, and you really gotta let it get down to the right depth before you start mm-hmm. reeling. Um, one of my favorite ways to do it is is on the fly. If if you're interested in fly fishing at all, it's a great time to try fly fishing because the action when it's hot, it's hot. So you can really get to you know feel the fight from a, from a fly rod. Yeah. So that's where I, uh, that's where I learned how to to do the fly rod thing, and it's fun. Definitely. Doing targeting those. Targeting yeah. shad, yeah. Well, because it is such a small small lure it's gonna be hard to yeah. bait cast those it is exactly yeah. <laughs> and there's and there's times where the fly fishermen are way out fishing the the uh, conventional guys and then there's also vice versa but um generally i mean you almost have to bait you with the bait caster almost have to do a fly yeah cast. because it's so light yeah, yeah. And, and you're using you know <laughs> shad flies or itty bitty too and I, I, there's no rhyme or reason to what color works best when it's just you pick one and if it's not working either change the jeff or change the color yeah yeah you need sinking line, preferably. If you don't have sinking line, you're gonna to have to find an attachment for your floating line, line to get it to get it down to the right. Now line. braid floats, so you would want. Uh, yeah, that's another reason why fluorocarbon right here is good, just because um, it helps get down to the right depth. No, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, am I mistaken? Shoot. With the uh, fluorocarbon, that sinks right. It's it's yeah. Put, yeah. No braid always has a floating. It, it comes, comes up, up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see. I don't, and it, I don't mess with line class stuff. I usually, yeah. you know, I don't it's because of all that. But now, <clears throat> I'm doing. I'm editing the striper segment. I'm finishing up the striper segment now. I've done the narrations and all that stuff, and I've got I've got your line class attempt on a striper right on there from like two, years, two years ago. Something like that, yeah. Right, and you caught one, and so doing a line class record you, you this is the second you second attempt at it right that yeah. that year was your second attempt at it. you you had some on before I, yeah no no not with striper didn't not you hook one and break one off on the on the light oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah that was the first year yeah. i was out there actually. it was yeah. near the uh near the pound the, net the, no i started there in the morning with you right and on regular tackle yeah you regular tackle I caught, that was my yeah. first one um and then you caught one mm-hmm. while taking a picture of mine almost mm-hmm. it's like almost 
simultaneously. And then you want to take a break real quick, and I said I'm just going to go. Out. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was I cold. I three that morning. It was, was free. So cold. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Hands I remember that distinctly. Because <laughs> I was working the camera for you on one of them. And yeah, I was, and I was just, God, <laughs> this is cool. Um, but the sun came up, and, and I went out on the drift, and um, I, I, that's where I pulled out the eight pound test. You okay? No, you're going for eight pound line class record. Yeah, uh, if you look for uh, on IGFA, you have. I think you have to be a member to actually look up the actual records. Um, but if you start looking through them, you see little, I don't want to call it anomalies, but where there's a chance where... Little you know, holes here and yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I, th I don't even remember what it is right now. It's like, I think it's a yeah, mid-40s mid pound. I, sh I should know this because I actually, like, I studied it for a while. But it's, it's, it's a citation size fish and you're going to have to Oh, yeah, it's got to be a big... Eight-pound test. Eight-pound test. Um, it's eight-pound running line, so the majority of what's on your reel... And then in salt water, you're allowed. And these are more rules I should yeah, remember. Well, but you don't have to do them offhand, but you need a certain amount of liter. You, you can, oh, have, can have a certain, certain amount of liter. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And, and a double believe, line. And I believe it's enough to you can wind on. Right? And then enough to wind on? I it's, think with, with salt water, yeah. It's like 30 water. foot in salt right. water. It's like 25, right. somewhere like that. Yeah. Um, in fresh, it's like 10 or 6. Because I know when you grab the fish, you had it on a liter, it was just regular liter. You, yeah. you weren't on four pound test when you were. No, no, you no. You had it, you had oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So um, you have the, the, the final piece, you know, the, the terminal tackle is. You can use whatever liter you want. It's just you're not allowed to have it be a certain length. Yeah. That's, that's all. But the main um, line. Yeah is eight pound test yeah. and it's probably a 40 pounder or ish right it's something in that range it's a because what you caught was, uh, was a 44 incher but it was a i think it was like mid 30s yeah because you yeah. hand scaled it I, yeah, yeah it was like mid 30s something like that um there's a whole bunch of rules with the igfa thing like you can't like nobody else can touch the line the, the yeah. running line at all right it can't even touch the gunnel like right. on, your rod is not allowed to touch the gunnel if you're trolling like as soon as you pick it up you, you cannot put it down you cannot put it back in a rod holder there's a whole bunch of rules yeah so, so crazy for kayak fishing too which yeah it's just incredibly hard i mean to do in, in open water like like you tried it, it you alleviate yourself somewhat but i mean anywhere well, near a bridge or anything well, that's like the thing. Oh, yeah. you can't set a rod like that's the thing is that when I'm, when I'm doing the narration on, on the video, I'm like, okay, I usually use heavy tackle around the structure, but if you're going to do light tackle, do it out here. Here's Rob doing yeah. eight pound tackle. Yeah. So. yeah, go out yeah. in the middle of nowhere and do right. it. Because there's no structure. And there. yeah, there wasn't, the, the, and the only worry was if he pulled you into a boat, but the fight wasn't that long. Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a 44 inch fish and it took under basically six minutes, our oh, usual oh. long yeah, time. Yeah, they're not, yeah, it, yeah. It, it didn't even like, and I was watching the whole time. Yeah. It's yeah. super mad. Yeah, you see that in the video. It came up and it came, <laughs> yeah. you took yeah. off. In the beginning, I really wanted to let him take it for a, for a good yeah. while though, because I can, you can't set the hook on these things. No. You kind of have to let him, you know, get it into himself as as slowly applying pressure. Yeah, and so did you use a circle break. hook? It wasn't a circle hook. Okay, J hook. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I was I was, if it was a fish that's worth the size, I was gonna kill it. I'm being right. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, no, I didn't know because I'm, of the way you were. Putting the hook in it like because yeah, with the J hook, I mean I. Yeah, but you can't. <laughs> you can't. Um, we say you can't set a hook on an eight pound test because the hook. Right, that's, that's what I'm saying. Snatch. So I'm gonna want yeah. like to ease into it and hope that. It just finds so itself. Like, yeah, yeah, just he's letting it, let it swallow up. Yeah, right. I was, was where was the hook on that one? <laughs> It's funny because after I pulled it up and I looked in there and it and it, it did one of those piercings where it just hit a piece of flesh oh. and it came right back out. So all I did was just yank on it and it popped right out, dude. And, and it, it was way back there too. And but it, 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 yeah, you just, it was it just hanging. Yeah, he wasn't bleeding or anything. He was fine. Just but hanging in. The yeah. Skin. So it, honestly, if it was one of those like. I did set the hook on it. It could have popped for all I know. Yeah, if it was a regular, if you if you would have yeah. had a regular tackle, you probably would have yanked that one off. Yeah. Maybe. But you let him go for a long time, chance. though. You let him go for you a long time. You watched the video. I, I, let, yeah. I kept that, eat it, it's, eat it, please it's, eat it. It's, it's, it's seconds. Eat it, eat it. It's long seconds of it. pick it up, and it's like, eat it, eat it, eat it, and you don't do anything yet. Yeah. You eat it, and then you put it in gear, and it's still going yeah. because you got light. It's light, yeah. yeah. You put it in gear, but it's still going and going and going and going and going. It's it's a long time. I don't even think I showed the whole thing. It was yeah, so long, I had to yeah. cut it up a little bit.
But yeah, six minutes was the whole thing. Six something. It was once, like thirty something. Yeah, once I got him to the surface, I thought I thought he was gonna be bigger just because of the way he was running. Well, you actually had him up in like three. He, yeah, he, he surfaced and then yeah. took back down, yeah. took back off again. Sure. Had you pulling? Had you pulling? Stupid strength. Yeah, yeah. Had you pulling was, was, with yeah. eight pound test? Had you pulling? That's what's cool about kayaks. No matter how, whatever you're, even if you catch a croaker, he's, he can Honestly, pull yeah, you. Yeah. And you're gonna get a pull. Even in the four pound test, man. I've had I had fish yank me on four pound test. Not yank, but you know, actually move the yeah. boat. Yeah, it actually moves. Yeah. Um, we gotta get that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up here. Oh, we're yeah. good. So, when you thoughts going into that, when you're going for line class stuff, thoughts going into it. And now, before you did that, what were you thinking? Were you thinking, okay, I'm gonna be out here for 20 minutes dealing with this thing. Am I gonna how you know the whole that? Is there any anxieties going into it rather than just? The chance of it breaking off. I mean, you're really going for a specific I, thing. You're going for a specific. I think it's the time, the amount of time going that goes into it. Because once you hook it, especially out in open water, it's just like, how long can I play this thing? And like, if it's not big enough, am I gonna end up killing it anyway? Because I mean, there's a lot of that's a that lot was, of stress. That's a lot of stress on a fish, and I and I acknowledge that going into this before game. Before going you know? to eat. <laughs> well, yeah, hatch before, on the yeah, ocean yeah, kayak yeah. for a reason. <laughs> Me. <laughs> now, now after, now after you've landed that one that, that wasn't big enough, but it's, you, you, you went through. You did the whole thing with the pound. You did. You fought one. Yeah. Landed it. How do you feel afterwards? Now you, you're going to do it again. You're going for it again. You feel I, like you more definitely give more confidence because you saw how long it took. Yeah, to take I it. Can, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I think um, even this past year, if there was a better. Um, Set of reports coming out of that area. I think I would have tried more. Yeah, um, this, this you would have had that rod out. I would. Yeah, I would. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think if I'm ever going on the drift, I'm I'm gonna yeah, bring it. That's with what me. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. have that as an option. Yeah. 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 Because it's a drift, man. We're out there for hours. We're open water. La la la. Might yeah. As well. yeah. There's deep. nobody around us until we start getting bites, and then the boats move in. Right. <laughs> 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 right. I bring binoculars. Two days. We do the same thing. Well, I mean, we just know what we do is we paddle around until we see somebody get a bite or hook up. That's the fish finder. And then we start fishing. That guy. That guy's net's moving. What's going on over there? Yeah. Uh, have we ever used drift socks or to slow us down for drifting or on a big fish? No. We, no. We usually like paddle. Fish. I can put my feet Both in the water. Feet to and also, well, yeah, for, oh, 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 talking about with a fish, talking about hook or, fish. Or yeah, drifting. Feet. Drifting, we drift, paddle. Yeah, paddle. I use one arm paddle. Force paddle, yeah, uh, force drift. Um, a lot of times, I have a. I don't like spinning. I like stepping on one side. So I'll actually hold my positions, even if the winds push me. Yeah, I'll conti continuously. Yes. And sometimes, like sometimes, the striper are in a certain area, and yeah. you go by the boats, and they're catching them in that certain area. We'll drift through there and paddle right back. Yeah. I mean, it's not. And go right back. No, back. Yeah. yeah. The the fish don't seem as long as your eels aren't skipping across the top and. We don't go yeah, out there when it's like windy that. enough to have you your eels skipping so, across the top. There's been times where I think a drift cycle would have been all right, but I, it would be too much. I think we talked about it before. But if it would be you hooked a fish, I mean, what would happen? Because a fish spins around in circles, yeah. and if you have more than, like, two feet now, of something hanging off the back of your boat, you're, you're going to get yeah. tangled. And now, during a fish, I want to I want to, I want to get pulled. I don't want to get pulled. I don't want anything, want anything me. slow me down. I don't like, I've, I've, I don't like fighting fish Plus on Plus a boat. weird, this is a, a weird pull, you know shit, what I mean? That time, uh, that time when I had the other fish on, we talked about shit was that. weird as fuck. Yeah. I didn't like that at all. Two fishes, two fishes. Had two fish on. Yeah. One pulling me this way, I'm trying to get this one. It wasn't going anywhere. You're like, I feel like I'm stuck. You were yelling, I feel like I'm stuck. The back yeah. off drags. I was like, "Can you come get this?" And then yeah. you hook up, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, I gotta deal with this thing." And it just, I didn't like the fight. I didn't like the fight. So I just mentioned this general concept though about like a certain kind of fish that can really like, like bluefin tuna. Right. That's that's like, what we're talking about. Yeah, man. Talking like about stayed, Matt stood right on top of that thing with no drift yeah. sock or anything. Yeah. Right. But then we, we also talked about if you try that in the ocean front, it's not going to be a vertical thing. It's going to. Oh yeah. So wait, there, wait, it's the scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scenario. If it presents itself, I mean, you might need it for certain things, but. A lot of what we do, no. no I, we don't need I, it. And I can't. The only time I used it was catfishing. I, I can see yourself getting tangled up yeah, real hard, probably. especially with a bluefin tuna. I mean, if it hangs more than two or three feet off the back of that boat, dude, that thing. You, you see? I mean, yeah. there's pictures of Matt being pulled like oh, yeah, holding yeah, yeah, the yeah, rod yeah, yeah, like yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's being pulled <laughs> back. Like he's holding no, the rod in you're, front you're of him so he gets pulled the, straight back. The, yeah. Yeah, he's holding that. the rod out straight in front of him so that he can go straight backwards yeah. because that's which way the circle was going at that time. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, mm -hmm. it. 
I don't know, dude. If you had anything in the water, it would be tangled up, tangled up, or it's just it's the, yeah, during a fight. To I, don't wanna, backs, I don't want to. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to be like slow. Yeah, I want to. I would pulled. rather and put your feet in the water. Actually, gives you a lot of breaks. Yeah, yeah. a lot of breaks. Oh, uh, you can slow down. You can feel resistance you, you, on the and on you can legs. And, and actually, I, I go over. I'm going. I'm going over foot techniques in the movie. I mean, because I, I use them so much. Right. I use them so much. I want to. I want to preach about them so much because they're I have so my foot good. In the water. That, that's such two good minute, techniques. The two minute fight. I have my foot in the water a long time. A well, lot. But you can put your feet because in the water. I just you can put them straight. And you have certain resistance. You can open them up, and you can just put the brakes on. You can put your feet out I'll to the side. I'll pull my feet down. Yeah, right. the two yeah, minute fish. I have more, one of my more legs. Yeah. Yeah, one more of my good. legs, the leg, the side the fish is on, is in the water almost the whole fight. Yep. For the two minutes yep. that it took me to caught, catch that one big red. Yeah. Well, that was you were also had them in shallow water. Yeah. Dominant. Yeah, but I mean, and I, <laughs> but I mean, I put my right feet in drag. Yep. Drag. Yep. All everything. Well, I, can I, do have, I have a real good picture of you stopping a ray with both feet in the water, and there's water like coming up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just because you're pulling it so fast and you're just trying yeah, to stop uh, it. You're just trying to stop your oh, stop, stop it so I can break my line. Yeah, yeah it's just <laughs> trying to get rid of food. Trying to break them off. Stop them. All right. Anything All else? Right, we're about to wrap five up. Five minutes. Yeah, we're about to wrap it up. Drift side thing, real quick. Yeah. Um, the only time I have used it is when I was anchored up catfishing and the wind was just, it constantly, like my lines are over here. This is where I this want my anchor. lines. Yeah, on, on anchor. Yeah. So it's not, I'm not even using it as a drift suck. I just want something. Because there's in the river, there's constant current. Yeah. So if the wind's constantly pushing me this way and I want to face this way, I put the. Th but the thing is, like you were saying, it complicates things. There's the extra lines. There's extra things you need to move. And if you hook up a big fish and it's playing in front of you, it's you gotta yank up. It's yeah. yeah there's potential potential for a lot is, of bad things. The potential to wrap when stuff is in that direction. I had a red, a little, little red jump on my anchor rope once. I was just anchored in the middle of the creek and he got on it and unhooked himself and did it like he did it on purpose. He went. He <laughs> saw it and went. Got his face this around and said, eh. Oh. <laughs> Don't go me a fish with a, with a, they yeah. say that those things like are attractive well, because anything. They oh my just God. circle and Yeah, dude, that and thing, if, that, if that thing saw a drift sock, he was pulling a drift sock <laughs> beside your kayak, <laughs> he'd want to hang out near you even more. <laughs> and he'd just go spin circles around your whole rig there. I mean, you could have an entire braid with a broken line at the end of it when you're done. <laughs> cool. Anything else on there? No. We'll wrap it up. No, Walking Dead's it. coming on Sunday. Walking Dead's coming on, everybody's. Yeah. Walking Dead. The dead. Yeah. Here we go. All right, so Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, which is two days from now, uh, Mark Lozier from First Landing Kayak Fishing Services is, is going to be on, and that's Tuesday, February 25th. He'll be know. straight back from Florida. Yeah, he's coming back from the uh, the tournament thing in Florida, and uh, this going to be it's the tournament thing in Florida. Like, there's not four billion this weekend. This adventure, <laughs> adventure, adventure, adventure kayak. It's really World interesting. Kayak. We touched. We, I don't know we talked about it last week where you have to. Bit, you have, I know it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Place points, to place. You have points, points to get to. You have a thing you have to. So get, you check have in to, points. You have to catch certain things out in between. In between and get it at a certain time. So it's it's pretty interesting. It's a really awesome idea for a tournament. And, uh, I'm looking forward. He's done it. He did it last he did year. Last year too. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to him uh, again. Name? What was it? Living like Lozier? Is that what they say? So living like Lozier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> living like Lozier. Cool. All right, guys. All right. So thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you in two days with Mark Lozier.